What's up guys? This is Webby back again for your Raw 25 preview and predictions. Monday Night Raw's most hyped huge biggest show that they have ever put on in history. Back where it all began, New York City, Manhattan Center, the Barclays Center combined. And WWE's been hyping this for quite some time. They have a huge show in store for us wrestling fans. According to their quick hits, they have a huge show between... All the legends returning, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, DX, Brock Lesnar responding to Kane and Braun Strowman, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, The Bella Twins, Trish Stratus, Lita, amongst others. All of them returning, plus so much more, Razor Ramon, can't name them all. They're all supposed to return for this huge celebration of Monday Night Raw, Raw 25, John Cena, and of course Daniel Bryan, and, 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 and Charlotte, and, and the New Day is supposed to invade Monday Night Raw, which to me, and I will go over this in just a little bit, is not an invasion it's coming over for a celebration of Monday Night Raw. But you know how WWE is. They have to make it sound like they're invading. They're doing something bad, you know, because it's this brand split. But it's a celebration, if you ask me. However, before I get into any of that, thanks for coming to the podcast tonight and uh, tuning in for this preview and predictions of Raw. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is much appreciated. And hit that bell for all notifications. We are very close to 100 subscribers. Thank you for all the support. And follow me on Facebook at 2007Webby. Much appreciated. If you are looking for something of this era to really stand out and, and get you to tune into this coming Monday for Raw. Best thing I can tell you is Roman Reigns defending the Intercontinental Championship against the Miz. And 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 WWE to throw a little nostalgic old school pop for Roman Reigns go back old school even for you fans that are not kind of old school they had him they had Roman Reigns take a step back on his promos last week and, and, and say that this coming week at Raw 25 which I had no problem with this and how he did it because I was a huge fan of this family member that he was going to fight and defend his Intercontinental Championship just like the mighty Yokozuna wrestled in the very first Monday Night Raw did. So, Roman Reigns taking a step back, talking about the bloodlines. In any case, Roman Reigns versus The Miz should be a pretty good contest. We'll see what happens this coming Monday. Will The Miz capture the Intercontinental Championship and, and, and move on and... and, and, and and give us a rivalry with somebody else? Or will Roman Reigns take that championship to WrestleMania for a champion versus champion matchup 
against Brock Lesnar. Because if The Miz does not capture the title here, I don't see anybody else or anywhere else that Roman Reigns will lose that crown. We'll see what happens. How will Brock Lesnar and Kane respond to Braun Strowman? As we all know, Braun Strowman has been on a tear through everybody. Tipping over everything, $12 million production trucks, all different types of stuff. Breaking Michael Cole in half, which made everybody happy. Everything Braun Strowman's been doing has just been epic. And everybody's been loving it. Unfortunately, however, we know that Braun Strowman's not going to win at the Royal Rumble. But in any case, Brock Lesnar will be here this Monday, which is the biggest thing to really concern us about and hype us about. Not Kane. Kane, we all knew, was going to be there. He's, he, he's just, eh. Brock Lesnar will come out. More than likely, they'll all three have a brawl. Some point in the, the, the ring, can definitely see that happening, especially after Brock Lesnar and Kane got monster handled last time those three were face to face to face. And Braun Strowman took that steel thing that, hold, that held up the Titan Tron or whatever and slammed it down onto Kane and Brock Lesnar's back. And Brock Lesnar was taken out on a stretcher. So definitely can see that happening. History in the making. Will be more hype about the women's Royal Rumble matchup. Hopefully they will be showing them talking about how it's every woman for herself. And then hopefully we'll see the men talking about how it's every man for himself as well. I want to see both this coming Monday on Raw. John Cena and SmackDown Live superstars dropped by Team Red. Look, Charlotte had a great deal with Monday Night Raw when she was in a rivalry with Sasha Banks. She's not invading. It's a celebration. Will WWE turn it into some invading angle? Maybe. Or they'll celebrate. In my eyes, it's a celebration. WWE, don't give us this BS. You want us to have a celebration? Keep it that way. The New Day, longest reigning tag champs in history. Look, they did that on Monday Night Raw. How on earth are they invading? Give me a break. As far as Daniel Bryan and the Yes Movement, the only thing I can say is Occupied Raw. Amongst so many other great moments, Steel Cage match, being WWE champion, WrestleMania when he was on Raw, Daniel Bryan deserves to be on Raw. That's not invading. That is celebration, WWE. And of course, WWE Legends take over Monday night. From Stone Cold, as I said, Undertaker, Bella Twins, all these legends will be there. Very nostalgic, I'm sure it's going to be. And, and, and let's face it, Austin will probably come out, he'll be the first one there. To get 
the crowd a huge rally and pop and get them going. And, and the last one to come out at the Manhattan Center probably because he closed the show. He main evented Monday Night Raw on the very first episode back in January of 1993 was The Undertaker and he will probably close the show on Monday night. What will happen remains to be seen. However, all these stars I even looked through the pictures and it looks like where I have the coach back amongst other people, amongst other uh, uh, commentators and that kind of stuff. Backstage commentators. So that'd be cool to see a coach there. But what will happen when Dead Man, John Cena, I'm interested what those two have to say and what they will do. Will a dead man go into the Royal Rumble? Will he somehow want John Cena at WrestleMania? Will he want a WWE Championship matchup? At WrestleMania, is he going to walk out and retire? Say, I'm done. Same place he main invented the first one? We'll all find out. You all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Don't forget to do everything I mentioned at the beginning of this podcast and this coming week it's going to be a huge week on the channel so i will have a podcast on sunday about that so don't forget to tune in to that and until i see you again this is webby and i will catch you on the other side talk to you